Welcome back to Uncut with KJH. This is an uncut video series where you will see the good, the bad, and everything in between. I'm gonna do a golden goddess makeup. Am I in focus? Sure. I'm gonna do a golden goddess makeup. I'm going out tonight I'm wearing a red dress with a uh, like gold blazer. Sounds weird. I'll show you probably somehow. Um, and gold shoes and then Lucite accessories from Alexis Pitar. I'm going to shop up party for Aziza, a fashion designer. And I can't wait. My friend Sammy is over there in the background, so she might just randomly yell something out into the room because that's her vibe. Um, so I'm going to start with a bit of road. I've actually got a way that I enjoy applying this that I think I learned from Sydney, who is <laughs> oh uh, an amazing skin expert in the Instagram. Um, I think she told me she liked it this way. So you start with the cream, which is the Lipid Rich, the Barrier Restore Cream. And that goes on first, right? Not the serum, like it's supposed to. And then you take the serum and you put it over the top, almost as your sort of supplementary glowy product on those high points. And then you rub it in. And I actually really like it that way. It's very, very nice and balmy and dewy. And I don't really know what the wear is like or any of that kind of stuff, but I mean, Haley did an amazing job on this brand. The products are so, so good. And the lip balm is amazing. It's everybody's favorite. And for those that have tried it, it's everybody's favorite. All right, I'm gonna put those, I'll leave them out actually because I'll do a product breakdown after the fact. I'm gonna go in with a Chanel Le Beige um, in BD. 21. This is a really interesting product. So it's like these little pearly kind of beaded particles, for lack of a better word, inside of the bottle. And then when you apply it to your hand, it looks the same. But then when you mix it into the brush, it starts to blend and become consistent. But it's very, very, very lightweight and also quite dewy. And I'm always just starting with covering the redness pretty much. Um, and any sort of areas that I like to conceal. And sometimes if I use something over the full surface of my face, it's pretty much never full coverage. Every now and again it is. Not not frequently though. A little bit around the mouth. And that is basically the first step of my complexion. Might go in a bit more with concealer in a minute. I haven't decided yet. But I'm gonna kind of just start and I wanna keep this look simple. I don't want it to take, I don't really want any makeup look that I do to take too long. Even when I do celebrities makeup, I don't love it to take two hours. You get given a two hour window when you do a celebrity talent for something. Typically, sometimes you get 20 minutes, depends on if they're running late. Not really, that's an extremely rare occurrence. Um, and that's like if they're coming off a delayed flight and they've got to be somewhere, like it's not necessarily their choice to sit and glam for that long. It's normally just like a kind of a, unfortunate scenario where everybody's a bit rushed. We've got the Danessa Myricks tinted magic it's a contour balm. It's called Fair Number no. One. I'm using a small little brush and I'm just gonna go around and just do the little shadows that I wanna create. So I'll sort of just, I like to sort of look in the phone or in the mirror where I'm doing my makeup and look for where the natural shadow appears on my mouth when I talk. Typically it's right like an inch away from my mouth Everybody's placement for this is different, but I think it's kind of nice to sort of look for where the natural shadows appear when you're sort of moving your face and enhance those shadows. Um, contour and bronzer are obviously two different things. There's a video all about um, bronzer on my account and I can also deep dive anytime that you would like for me to about certain things. So I'm blending that in with a big brush just so that I get a nice blend out of it. And then under the jaw, Priming the brush sort of by getting some more of that product into it under the jaw and then further blending that out. Okay. Blending it into the forehead and then that's kind of my contour and foundation routine. I'll probably, like I said, go in more later. I'm going to do a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Matte blush wand in pillow talk i actually have tried all of them i've tried two of the shades of this one's my favorite out of this one of the pink i think it's so beautiful um and i'm just going to take another brush again and blend that in just sort of press the color into the high points it's a lovely sort of 
natural pinky beige tone and just sort of pop that in right there okay perfect blush this is probably going to be the best seller i imagine from the brand um but there's a lovely bright red one too that's great for i actually don't know whether it's bright red when it comes out of the tube but it's red in the packaging which i would assume is really great for deeper complexions i mean like a little on the bridge of the nose but not too much we're not going for sunburnt today we're going for gl glowy glam and glossy for a bit of something on the eye because i'm going to go back in with complexion in a minute i'm just gonna put on a little bit of this um this is Oma oh Beauty Salute to the Sun. I pretty much use Nebu, N-U-B-U, N-E-B-U. Maybe that's a pharaonic god. Um, and it's this beautiful, beautiful gold. This is what it looks like on the skin. It's fab. It's basically the same color as the jacket that I'm going to wear. Um, and I'm just sort of showing you what it looks like with my finger. And because I've started one side with my finger, I'm actually going to apply the other side with my finger as well. I just want to make sure that I'm in focus. Am I in focus? Okay, we were losing focus there. Um, okay, we're good. So we have gold going in. And then I'm going to take more of the gold with the brush now and just bring that gold up. You might be like, oh, I kind of want a single in this color but if this palette is still available i truly truly recommend it it's got a lot of really other fun tones to play with um oma beauty is a black owned brand and i really love everything they have to offer i think it's such a beautiful beautiful um assortment of product and sharon the founder is awesome and this product is this palette particularly it's really really light it's really really thin you twist this little paper turn thing and it locks the palette doors and then inside you've got all of these lovely colors which some of them are like shimmery metallics and some of them some of them some of them are mattes um all right so just building that until i get where i want it to be and this is kind of one of my favorite looks because it's got high 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 impact with um minimal minimal effort so blending it in and then bringing it down i'm just going to take my brush i'm going to buff it into my green Spectrum towel. I hope this video is sharp and high resolution. I think it should be okay for what it is. And then just use the side of your finger and you can clean it up a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna leave the eyes for a minute. I am gonna go in with a bit of lip. I like to kind of slowly get everything on and then go in more. That was, um, Pink 04 in the new cheek uh, lip balm from Sephora collection. And this is Dimitri from uh, Mario. So I kind of get most of the colors on. I get them where I want them to be. And then I intensify or I sort of tweak as I go through the makeup. It's kind of quicker that way. It's like you get the basis of everything on and then you refine and manipulate the edges or the textures or whatever. I love this lip liner. Look at my teeth. They're going straighter. Okay. <laughs> Gotta get rid of the saliva. You can't let saliva get in the way of your magic. Tower 28 SOS. Uh, that's not what it's called. Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara. If you don't do a fish face, then your mascara is probably not gonna glow right. Sammy, do you do a fish face when you put on mascara? Like that, I just I just did my impression. Ah, ah. Um, that's my favorite mascara right now. That's life. Okay. No, you're not gonna back me up there. She doesn't know the words. I'm showing her age. I don't know what what comes next. That's life. That's what all the people say. Riding high in April. Shut oh, down in me. Right. I know I'm gonna change that too. Well, I'm back on top mm, in June. I say that's life. That's life. <laughs> um, the cool thing about working from home on some days is that the friends that also work from home 
get to come and work from your house and you get to hang out and eat chips and snacks and water. On the subject of water. 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 Like a bottle of water. You know, I've come to a realization in my late 30s that when British people, I mean, I'm speaking for myself. I shouldn't really speak for all Brits here, but when British people move to America, we adopt slightly softer T. We don't go, but we don't an, over enhance our A. So when we go to a restaurant and we get asked three times what we said when we ask for a glass of water, I have fallen, fallen into the trap of saying water which is actually more like how Aussies say water. I'd say water or water, but uh, obviously American accent would be like water, but I'm never gonna go water because I'm not American, but I wouldn't say water because I feel like I get asked three times what I said. So I just say water because it seems to like, you know, get me there the first time. Um, and the same goes for when I say my name in a public loud space in New York, I'll say Katie. And somebody go, oh, hi, Casey. Nice to meet you. And I'm like, no, no, it's not Casey. It's Katie. And then I have to reiterate with a soft T. So for anybody that's like, where are you from? Your accent's so weird. Uh, I'm from the north of England, a place called Southport. And I've lived in America for 10 years, married to an American man who's also half Egyptian. And his dad, bless him, could never understand what I was saying when I would talk because I also speak fast. So my accent has evolved. And that is that on that. All right, so a little bit of this under there. And the other thing about England is, is the accent pretty much changes every 20 minutes drive. Like you drive 20 minutes down the road in the accent. Where I come from, we talk like, we talk like that. We're a bit more like, hi, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, good, you. 20 minutes down the road, it's like, oh, you're okay. You're right, love. Like proper, proper thick, like, you know long and drawn out like that and then you go 20 minutes the other way and they talk like that so that was your english geography accent lesson that you got free watching me do a golden eye so if you ever got makeup on your eyelids when you're doing mascara don't fret but let it dry and flick it off or just quickly erase it with a q-tip i wouldn't have quickly erased it with a q-tip cotton bud i wouldn't have quickly erased it with a q-tip a q q if there was a lot of eyeshadow under my eye because i would have actually taken that eyeshadow off i probably would have waited for it to dry and then done the flick off with a wand situation kitty what is wrong with you man um yeah so basically just don't don't panic let it dry and then do the thing do the thing later so here we are we're in a good spot i am going to see what's on my table that i pre-pulled for this look. I've pretty much used everything that I wanted to use. However, I'm gonna do a little bit more com complexion. So I'm just gonna go straight back in with the Chanel because I don't wanna use multiple things. I don't like to over encourage people to sort of buy everything that I use. Like I don't think it's necessary. If something's yellow and I'm doing a yellow eyeshadow, use the one yellow thing that you've already got. You don't need another whole product. If something's pink and on the cheek, then use what pink you've got and try another one when you're ready or you need more. Um, I think it's important to use what you've got if you like that product, you know? so many things so many times i actually don't i don't i didn't used to always caption my videos with what i was using because i it's not about the product it's about the technique product is secondary the technique is the most important part um and so it's important to just you know try the thing with what you probably already got before buying something new seeing if you like the technique seeing if you like the look of that thing and then develop your makeup bag with more of those products that you're using um through education and through liking what they do. Uh, I'm gonna do though a little freckle with my freckle pen from Nabla. I love this one. I sort of just place it and then I sort of touch it away so that it's less intense. Um, but I kind of do all three. It's like sort of disconnected Orion's belt. And then I kind of just mess with it a little bit. So I just love that it's fresh because the look that I'm wearing tonight is quite, quite glam, like there's a lot happening. Um, I'm wearing this red dress with the, I was just trying to show you on my other phone, red dress with gold blazer. And if I have the picture on my phone, I will flash it to the camera. It's loading, so I'll show you in a minute. Um, I have two phones, one's to shoot, one's for life and one's for content. My old phone that's on my left is my content phone, but I actually don't use it as such. The idea was there, but 
but didn't actually make much sense. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna use this gold brush one more time. The brush with the gold in it and go up into the crease of the eye. I could gloss this to make it really a, a editorial. And I think just for a little bit more contrast on the lip, a little endless cacao, but not much. This is endless cacao from uh, Makeup Forever, love it. Just gives you a little bit of a pop on the lip. And I think that's good. Uh, powder. If I was to powder this look, I'd be quite delicate with my powder. I would just use, um, this is the translucent from Charlotte Tilbury and a small little brush, Refer number 33. And then I'm just gonna pop it here and just press and tap anywhere where I've got shine that I wanna dull it down. I don't like my coverage to be too full, but I do like to look flawless, if that makes sense. I like that like flawless coverage, but I still like to not look makeup-y. And so I find that just using a foundation or a concealer just where you want it gives you that look. Wow, these earrings are heavier than I thought. They don't feel heavy, but I feel like they look a little heavy. But they're fun. All right, I'm gonna do a bit of that. I've got a few gathering lines in my forehead, so I'm literally just gonna take my finger and just pull the extra product out of those few little lines and then further powder. And that, my friends, is basically it. If I can find this picture of my outfit that I'm wearing tonight, I'll show you, but I can't seem to find it. So you'll see it on my Instagram stories at some point, probably way before this video goes up. This video will probably go up on Wednesday, which is tomorrow. All right, um, today's Tuesday. Um, the 7th of February. All right, let's love everyone. I will see you a bit later. And if you have any questions, pop them below. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. I hope that you're enjoying what you see here so far. I think my dress is about to reveal itself. No, it's not, I lied. Okay, bye. Everything was loading, but it's not in there.